This garden is a great idea of yours, Roxanne. Mm. Great. I'm glad you agree, Bill. Mm. This is going to be the biggest and best organic garden in Australia. Oh, just look at you it. sound just like Gus. I do not. Do I? Well, it does sound the, like the kind of idea he'd have, Roxanne. Mm. Well, I think that's an awful thing to say to a person. Just, look, I don't think Wayne would agree with you. Wayne, come here quickly, please. What's the trouble, Roxanne? Tell Wayne all about it. It's all my fault. <laughs> I said Roxanne sounded like Gus. Never. That's what I said. Of course, if you want my opinion, Roxanne, about your idea, that yeah, is. Yeah, I certainly do. Well, then organic gardening won't work here in Bandy Wallop. Why won't it? Well, because it's expecting the earthworms and the beetles to do all the work for you. Yeah, won't they? Well, not here they won't. I think we've always used Gee Whiz Instant Fertiliser. I tell you what, I'll go down to the junction right now and get you some. How does that sound? I don't want Gee Whiz Instant Fertiliser. I want my cauliflowers to grow naturally. Now, not another word, Roxanne. If there's one thing I enjoy, it's doing me good deed for the day. See ya. What am I going to do? I am going to have to tell him sometime. Well, you know, Roxanne, if you don't want it, you can always give it to Gus for his window box. Window box? Mm. Do you mean that snail has a window box? Mm. Where? Well, right outside his window. You mean my window? Oh. Stay right here, Bill. I'm going to check this out. Oh. Ha! Organic gardening indeed. Why, only someone like Roxanne could possibly think of a thing like that. Ha. Gus, you have a window box. Yeah. What are you growing? Melons. For the Bandy Wall of Agricultural Show. And you know what? I'll win all the prizes. Ha. Well, good on you. I'm growing mm. cauliflowers to eat. Eat? Cauliflowers are good to eat. <laughs> of course. They're, they're delicious. They are? Oh, I've never tried them. Oh, well, I'll give you one later. Now, about this window box. You can't grow melons in a window box. Oh, and if not, why not? They're too big. Ah, yes. That's why I'm growing them. They'll be the biggest melons in the whole show. Did I tell you I'll win all the prizes? They're not even up yet. Of course they're not. They're not even planted yet. <laughs> I'm waiting till the wind is in the south. I think it's in the south now. What? Why didn't you tell me? Call action stations! Where are those seeds? Oh, where did I put them? Let's help! Help! Gus, the seeds are here in the window box. Oh, oh. Now, so they are. Would you like me to put them in for you? Ah. I have very green fingers. Green fingers, eh? I always thought they looked odd. <laughs> Don't be rude. Oh, it's my hobby. I've noticed. <laughs> there we are. Mm. They're all in. Ah. Now, would you like me to water them for you? Ooh. And I'll need some fertiliser. Oh, why don't you grow them organically? Ah. You know, oh. nothing artificial, just natural fertilisers. Oh, no, no, I don't care how unnatural they are as long as they are big. Oh, Gus, it's only your ideas that are big. Ah, yep, it's big ideas that make a country great. Mm, but it's properly grown food that makes people healthy. Oh. But if you insist on fertilisers, why don't you talk to Wayne? Hey, hey, hold it. What? Uh, I'm going to need some help with these melons. I mean, to get them to the show. Look, Gus, all I can say is relax. They're not even grown yet. Ah, but they will be, and they will be huge. It'll take forever to grow those silly little cauliflowers. Hmm. I wonder if... They're tastier when they're little. I hope you've forgiven me, Roxanne. Oh, don't be silly, Bill. There's nothing to forgive. I mean, I know an organic garden is a good, a big idea, but Gus isn't the only one that has big ideas. Oh, hey, Roxanne. Oh, no, no. Let me guess. 
you'd like a riddle. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, Roxanne, you're never wrong. <laughs> oh, well, I wish you were right about that. <laughs> All right, what is this riddle? It's tricky. Mm. It's very, very tricky. Not too tricky for me. I'm brave. Well, all right. Tell me, what happened to the man who went out into the rain? And don't forget, it's tricky. Man who went mm. out into the rain. Mm. Yes, and don't forget it's tricky. I know you keep saying that. Mm. Mm. I have to give up. <laughs> he got wet. <laughs> that wasn't fair. <laughs> you made me think it was hard when it wasn't at all. Oh, sorry, Roxanne. Would you like an easy one? All right. What mm. is it? What did the digital clock say to the grandfather clock? Tell me. He said, look, Grandpa, no hands. <laughs> oh, no, that was tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. My you, turn, eh? Yeah, you have a turn now, All right. Go um, on. Why did the man walk down the street playing a rubber trumpet? Oh, uh, was it because he was looking for a rubber band to play with? Yes, you guessed it. Oh, I'm a good guesser, Roxanne. <laughs> you want another one? Ooh. Where do bees mm. go when they want to catch a bus? Oh, easy, Roxanne. Uh. To a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Roxanne. Enough gee whiz instant to do all your collies. Oh, Wayne, you're so kind. Yes, he is kinder kind. The only thing is... Oh. Uh, well, it, it is a problem, uh, Wayne. Yeah? You see, if it's an organic garden... Yeah, with things growing naturally... You don't need fertiliser. No. <laughs> oh, but you can't do better than gee whiz instant. Mm -hmm. It's what made Bandy Wallop great. From the north to the south, from the east uh, to hey, the west. Hey, to hey, 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 Gus was talking about growing a window box. Yes, he's got one now, and he's put melon seeds in, and uh, he was wondering where he could get his hands on some fertiliser. Well, yes, and gee whiz, instant would do the trick for him, wouldn't it, Roxanne? Of course it would, Bill. It would be great. Well, gee, and we better encourage Gus if he wants to take up gardening. Oh, yes, Wayne. And you, uh, you can't do better than gee whiz instant fertiliser, and you could spare some for a poor little snail, couldn't you? Of course, my pleasure. Oh, right. Ta, Roxanne. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Gus. Lucky me. Ah, greetings, Wayne. Hmm. Was that a knock-knock I heard? Oh, I don't think so, Gus. I just knocked like this. See if you were in. That was a knock-knock, if ever I heard one. Who's that? Well, just me, I suppose. Aha! Uh -huh. Me who? Well, just me and me fertiliser. What did you say? Fertiliser? Yeah, gee whiz, instant. Bandy Wallop's built on it. A fine place, Bandy Wallop. I don't uh, suppose you could spare some of it, could you? Well, that's it. Just a few teaspoons for a poor deserving snail. Yeah, well, that's what I'm... A poor downtrodden snail with a window box? That's what I'm trying to do, Gus. Give you some. Ah, what a fine, upstanding young Australian you are, Wayne. Uh, the window box is right there. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> hmm. uh, uh, just to say thank you, I shall give you a knock-knock. Oh, no, you needn't worry, Gus. Wayne Wallop, knock-knock. Uh, all right, keep your flowers on. Who's there? Shatsy. Oh, I don't know him. Shatsy who? Ah, Shatsy way to do it, Wayne. Keep up the good work. Oh, I can't stay too long, Gus. Uh. I've got to go and put some gee whiz instant on Rox's cauliflowers next. Oh, you do? Yeah, I do. Oh, really? <laughs> well, knock, knock. Oh, knock, knock again? Yep. Uh, all right, well, who's there? Odessa. Oh, oh Odessa who? Ah, uh, that's a fine job you're doing with my window box, Wayne. Oh, thanks, Gus. Thank you, Wayne. In fact, you're doing such a fine, fine job, I'll let you give me a knock-knock. Oh, thanks, Gus. <laughs> well, I uh, I do know a few. Knock-knock, mm -hmm. uh, Gus. Oh, who's that? Mandy. Mandy who? Mandy Fort. Here come the Indians. <laughs> hey, there, there aren't any Indians around here, uh, are there? Uh, you're, you're trying to scare me, Wayne oh, no, Wallop. No, yes, you are. No, no, Help, no, yes, you no, are. No, you no, are. Yes, you're all right. You're all right. No Indians. No Indians. Oh, you said there were. Yeah, well, it was only a knock-knock, Gus. I'm sorry. Then you'd better give me another knock-knock. 
to make up for that one. All right, anything yeah. for a quiet life. Mm. Um, uh, knock, knock. Who's there? And remember, no Indians. Oh, no Indians. Uh, um, Dory. Ah, Dory. Here, yeah, now, she sounds like a nice girl. Dory who? Dory, I upset you. And so you should be. Ha, but I forgive you. Ah, oh, thanks, Gus. You're not too bad for a snail. Yeah. <laughs> um, this uh, bag of gee whiz ought to do the trick. What are you growing? Oh, <laughs> very large prize melons for the Bandy Wallop Agricultural Show. Mm. Oh, Foxhand's growing cauliflowers to eat. Ah, yes, yes, I know, Wayne. Uh, so you said. <laughs> Couldn't we talk about something else? Oh, no, I better get going. Uh, better get some of this gee whiz instant on Roxanne's cauliflowers or they'll never grow big and strong. Oh, no. Somebody help! Somebody help! It's Roxanne. You go, Wayne. I feel trouble coming on. I'll just sit here and think about how all that fertiliser can help me win first prize. Oh, Wayne! Oh, don't worry, Roxanne. I'll put a bandage on it. Where did you cut yourself? Myself. Oh, you sprained your, your wrist. Oh, I'll put no. a splint on it. Is it this one or this one? It's not me. It's my garden. Look. Something's eaten all my cauliflowers. Oh, you're... You're right. Of course I'm right. Something's eaten them right down to the stalks. Yeah. It must have been something... Or someone. Yeah, or someone who likes cauliflower. Well done, Wayne. I like cauliflower. But you didn't do it. No, that's true. And neither did Mr Squiggle because he's arriving just now. Oh, no, but you could ask him, couldn't you? He might have been looking out of his window when the rocket was coming down. Right, I'll ask him, and you keep thinking about it too. Sure, Roxanne. Detective Wayne Wallop on the case. Now, who or what likes cauliflower? This will take some deep thinking... Rocket, come on, open up quickly. I've got something very important to ask. Ooh, none of that. Come on, open up quickly. This is urgent. Rocket, don't let me down in my moment of, of severe urgency, Mr. Squiggle. Mr. Squiggle, wake up. You're here. Oh, uh, Roxanne. <laughs> uh, I think I've been asleep. Not all the way down from the moon, I hope. Roxanne. You won't believe this. Huh? I think I have. Well, look, let oh. me help you out before you just fall asleep again. Thank you, Roxanne. Thank you. You're such a help, you know. In fact, I could almost say... I don't think Mr. Squiggle would have seen you ate my cauliflowers. Mr. Squiggle, wake up, please. Mr. Squiggle! Oh, 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 oh Roxanne! <laughs> I've been gardening, and it always makes me so, so sleepy. Well, I know what you need. A squiggle. Did you, uh, did you say squiggle? Yes. Squiggle? Yes. And you know what else we need to say? Together. Blackboard. 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 Blackboard, come on, you're waiting. <laughs> Blackboard. Oh, indispensable. And might I say... You can never be bored with a blackboard. So now let's go completely overboard with a squiggle or two on board. Or oh, three or four. <laughs> <laughs> or even, even, shall we say, shall we say more? Mm, blackboard <laughs> is very talkative today. Uh, double. Uh. Uh, only nice thoughts, I hope, though, Blackboard. Or well, Mr. Squiggle, have a look at this one from Katie Twining of Baronia in Victoria. This is a tricky... Oh, It's a bit chicken-like. Quickly, hold my hand. All right. Oh, thank you. I've got another hand here. No, Mr. Squiggle. And a foot. <laughs> and... <laughs> being difficult. You're oh, shaking. Uh, this has foul qualities about it, this uh, one. Well... Uh, I can see a chicken. In a couple of shakes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it isn't a chicken. Ah. It's a very... Very dapper. Oh, yeah, I can see. A dapper? Something with pointy ears. Koala. A dapper koala. Ha-ha. <laughs> upside down. A top-hatted koala. There. Upside oh. down. Upside yes. Down. 
Mm. He's cute. I want to get smart. What's this? <laughs> oh, that's a, that's uh, his spare ice cream. Oh. <laughs> what does he keep it on his forehead? Keep his, keep his head warm. <laughs> I mean, cold. Oh, he's <laughs> nice. I like him. You like him. You're going to change him into something else? Change my mind. Now, what How's on that? earth could you possibly make out of a dapper koala? You gave me an idea. I did? You did. Mm. My chook references. <laughs> it was a foul idea. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> How's that? Oh, I don't know. I think it's upside down again. Everything is upside His down skinny these legs. days, Roxanne. Mm -hmm. A How's chicken? That? Well, actually, it's a bird. Bird? All right. It's not the early bird. It wasn't up early enough to catch the worm, so now it has to make do with three bird seed seeds. Okay. For Ooh, seeds? Three bird seed seeds for lunch. Uh -huh. So it's not the early bird, so it's sort of a better late than never bird, is that's it? That's it. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's his beak and that's his eye, is it? Oh, he's Somewhat cute. the worst for wear, I would say. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why? Who wore him? Oh. <laughs> you probably did on your head. Oh, oh, no, I did not. Oh. <laughs> Look, this is a famous concertina worm, Mr. Squiggle. Oh, concertina worm. Yeah. My hand. <laughs> yes, Mr. Squiggle. <laughs> Philippa you. Smith did this from uh, Devonport in Tasmania. Devonport. Actually. Devonport. I think there are two concertina worms there. Tricky, tricky, mm. tricky squigglers at Devonport. Are How's they? That? Oh, they are too. This is a tough one. But at any like port it in a storm. <laughs> oh, I see if it's a stormy squiggle. Uh -huh. This is, what's How's that, that? A, squ a saw? You mean you can't guess? No, not. There. Mm. Upside it, down, eh? It's not finished. Oh, well, I, I thought I was having trouble guessing. That could be a good reason. Uh-huh. <laughs> How's that? Oh, I have no idea. I'm sure you do. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Ooh, I want to know what this thing over here is. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, a cow. Secret. <clears throat> it's a secret. Huh. How's that? It's a cow over there. Ah, but what is it over? Here? Oh, right. It's a foot. Foot? It's a leg. Well. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> it's a giraffe. <laughs> you put your foot in it. Big difference, eh? <laughs> hey? um, a giraffe in a. Mm. Wearing a fur coat. Yeah, oh, yeah. Or a fur or collar. A, right. Or a, a very polonic. long fur collar. Upside down. A oh, oh, It's not yeah. quite. It's, it's a cow admiring her friend, the giraffe, and her fur coat. Right. I'm glad you put the cow's mouth in, or otherwise she'd be <laughs> speechless, wouldn't she? <laughs> cow admiring the giraffe's fur coat. Actually, it mm? may be a giraffe going into a cocoon. That's true. And you know, like a caterpillar turns into a cocoon and then comes out as a beautiful butterfly. So I wonder what this, this giraffe will come out as. Is that a hint that you're going to change him into something? No, it might no. come out as a beautiful elephant. An elephant? Or a beautiful camel. That's a lovely idea. Or a beautiful mosquito. Oh, that would be a real transformation. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, what happens when it comes out of the cocoon? Oh, that's a so sweet then. idea. We'll put him away and see what he turns into. <laughs> Spacewalk time. No, don't Space go spacewalking yet. Oh, 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 this oh, looks interesting. Oh, 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 I'm falling this asleep. Is... In the air? You do have strange talents. Mr. Squiggle, um, there's, there's a kiss for you. There's a kiss. That didn't work. Mr. Squiggle, wake up. Oh, oh, oh Squiggle you. time. <laughs> Oh, that's for you. That's for you. <laughs> well, Joanne Mitzi sent it from Wetherill Park in New South Wales anyway, whoever it's for. Oh, well, it's definitely for you. Oh, ah, now, this could be anything. It could this be. This has boundless possibilities. Uh, what would you suggest? Ooh, that's a couple of horns up there. Well, antlers. Ac actually... No. Oh, the crab or You're a bit like at that. sea. Ah, fish. A fish. Fish. One fish, two fish. Red fish. Uh, yes, green. It, it's a, it's a, it's a, actually. It's An elephant-nosed fish. It's a, yes, it's a gold fish. Oh, a gold fish. Yes, out for her daily swim around the bowl. And what about her to the feet? bubbles? Yeah. Upside down. Upside, upside down. down. Upside oh, down. I see. She has a strange mouth. <laughs> fish <laughs> always do. So she's going for a swim around a goldfish bowl. That's it. Blowing bubbles. Exercise mm. daily. You, you, you don't, I, I've changed my mind. All right. Yes, it's what a very this? fat goldfish. Yeah, she's also got a fin. Yeah, uh, that's, yes, yeah, she's getting very thin. Uh, <laughs> I thought you but, said she was fat. Uh, well, she, uh, but <laughs> She's now, on a diet. Huh? <laughs> she's on a diet. Diet. Uh, how's that? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, how's that? No uh, idea yet. I'm sure you do. Oh, no, no, no. Little face. Mm -hmm. 
Where's the face? Up here. It sort of looks like a face, but uh -huh. I, I could be wrong. Impossible. Oh, well, well, that's a nice one. No. From uh, a fat uh, fish. goldfish, goldfish. it's fish. now turned sideways, sideways. into a, a cat. Oh, who yes. It was very thin, but is now very fat. Because he ate the goldfish? I hardly like to mention it. Oh, but I did. I was tasteless, wasn't I? So now <laughs> she's <laughs> playing with her yo-yo on her whiskers and uh, with some marbles down here. All right. <laughs> I see. And I thought that was a face. A fat cat <laughs> with a yo-yo and marbles. Mm, very rotund. Another one? Yes, another one. And hurry up. OK, Blackboard, uh, are you hurrying? That was Blackboard. Yes, he's had a word or two to say today. Mm, double. Uh. Mm. This is from Ooh. Louise Noto, Finden in South, South Australia. It certainly is. Is that Bow where it What's comes this? from? Is this a squashed well, note? That's a note, yes. We'll make a note mm. of that. Yeah, a footnote. Upside down, a footnote. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that's a heart. A heart. Yes. Uh, Do there. I know yet? And the heart's One of those squiggly that? lines. Yeah. Well, a wiggly line. A squiggly line and a bow tie. Uh-huh. And a triangle that had an accident. A triangle that had an accident. That's an idea. <laughs> a happy accident? <laughs> I don't know. Actually... Uh, oh, it's a person upside down. He's singing for his supper. Oh, that's his open mouth. Uh -huh. I can almost see his tonsils. <laughs> <laughs> and you never know what sort of noises will come out when you open oh, your mouth. Oh, and that's where the note comes into it. Is that's that a funny it. squashed quaver? <laughs> squashed quaver. Squashed quaver. <laughs> being, being caught in a, you know, what do you call it, revolving door. <laughs> yes, that's a point. Yeah. And what's this over the side? Uh, this is his friend, the cat, who doesn't like music. Oh, and it it's covering its ears, mm -hmm. right? So there's a, there is a big mouth, and that's the note he's singing. He's got a hat on, uh -huh. and that's his, his friend, the cat, who doesn't like what's coming out of his mouth. <laughs> He'd prefer a cat who caterwauling on the wall. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Squiggle, you're tricky. That, that was a very good one. Thank you. Like Thank you, Roxanne. You're very good. I'd better go before I make any mistakes. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't I think that that you're way. You're pulling my foot. Yes, come on, come back. Oh, oh, I've got on. another foot over here. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have trouble if I pull both. Now, don't start dancing around. Come over here and have a look at this one. This is from Mark Lyle. Oh, you know, close my eyes. Albany, Western Australia. You can't close your eyes and do it at the same time. You never know what you can You're do when you close your eyes. not going to draw on my nose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got out of it then. This is another one that, that could be positively it, anything. It could be. In fact, it probably Little is. feet. Feet. I don't know yet. Uh, well, it might be. Um, yo-yo. Yo-yo? Actually... Well, Mark has left a lot of room on the page for you to do anything you feel like. Upside down. Upside down. It's a, it's a very... A fat something. Very fat. Happy, happy hippo. Happy hippo. Isn't he fat? With a yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you know? <laughs> Isn't he good? I <laughs> like him. I've changed my mind. Yeah. How's that? All right. wonder what it's going to be now. He now has... Perhaps three yo-yos. Oh, it's going to be a face, upside down. Upside down. Yeah. Everything is. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, what's that thing in the middle? That, um... That's a nose. It's no? a... Nose? How's that? I have no idea, gosh. Neither have I. Well, then we're in deep trouble. Both know. <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> How's that? It's funny sort of face. It probably is. Is it upside down? All faces are funny. It's got, it's got a teacup on top of it. <laughs> what on earth are you drawing? It's a, it's a wombat. A wombat? Balancing on top of his nose a, a, a straw with an apple and a cup of tea. <gasps> I see now. Uh -huh. And that's the straw, the apple and the cup of tea and he's balancing it on his nose. That's it. That's right. I thought that you would know. <laughs> I, I know now. He's going cross-eyed. Well, it. I guess you would if you had to look at that, right? Yes. Right <laughs> and balance it as well. And Another hurry one? Up. All right, Blackboard, we'll be quick. Oh, grumpy, isn't he? Shouldn't speak too loudly. This is from Chris and Brett Lane of uh, Trinity Beach, Cairns in Queensland. Ah. Sunny Queensland. You're not oh. holding my hand. Sorry. Mm -hmm. What on earth is this? How's that? Confused yo-yo. Actually. It's uh, a mouse, is it? No. Could be. You think so? Don't know. How's that? Not sure what the bottom bit is. Uh, 
Well, it's a polar bear. Oh, a polar bear. Upside down. Right, on an ice flow. <laughs> yes. yeah. Here's the ice, that's the polar bear. Yeah. And mm. it, that's his lunch. It's his lunch. He's on a diet of one piece of spaghetti. Oh, <laughs> one piece of spaghetti. He's going to be a very thin polar bear, yeah. Mr Squiggle. Oh, I'm afraid I have to go. All right, have OK. Well, listen, I think... I hope you're bored first. Uh, uh, and uh, I think that you'd better go and get some sleep before you even contemplate gardening again, uh, Mr Squiggle. Oh, Roxanne, have I ever told you... What's that, Mr. Squiggles? The gardening makes me so, so, so terribly, terribly sleepy. Yes, well, I think I've got the general idea. Sweet dreams and and good gardening. Thank you. Goodbye, Thank Mr. Squiggles. Thank you, Squiggle. Roxanne. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Bye. Squiggle. Nice trip home. Oh. <laughs> bye bye. Thought you'd trick us, eh? Oh, wait till I get hold of you. Come on, Al. It's no use hiding. Help! Oh, it's Gus. He's the one who ate all your cauliflowers. Gus! Yeah, and look, all your fertilizer's gone too. I know where it's gone, onto Gus's melons. Oh, there was enough here to do a paddock. Let's get him, Roxanne. You go in through the door and push him out the window. I can't even see the door. Gus, come on out of there. Where are you? Oh, dear. Oh, they won't seem to like me at all. I wonder why. You keep trying the door. I'll go in through the other window. Oh, this is terrible. They're after me. <laughs> and I've got to get my melon to the bandy wallop show or I won't win the prize. Where are those balloons? Roxanne! Roxanne, there's a giant melon in there. Come and help me up. I'm here, I'm here. How's he going to get it there? We won't let him out. Oh, no. And it's heavy, so he won't be able to carry it himself. And we won't help him carry it there either. <laughs> bandy wallop, here we come. The giant prize melon is on its way. Stop him, Roxanne. He's getting out through the other window. And he's got balloons. Balloons! <laughs> Wayne, he's got away. Look, there. Bandy Wallop, here I come. The melon champion of the whole wide world. Wee! He can't do that. We're not going to let him get away with that. Roxanne, do something. I can't do anything, you do something. Bye, Roxanne. Bye, Wayne. He's got away with it again. And there's not a thing we can do about it. No. But do you realise, Wayne, that's our Gus. And he's going to be the melon champion of the whole of Bandy Wallop. And that's something to be really proud of. Ha 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 